we will look at some of the backup commands and facilities in rman you connect to rman with target slash which ob by default connects with the ssdba privilege i already have some backups taken earlier so i can list what backups i have so list backup summary just shows me this backups were made on 28th march and they were made in, in compressed format and every backup def by default generates a tag which indicates the timestamp of the backup the rman settings can be sh displayed with a show all command so for example my retention policy is redundancy 1 and l0 or, or full backup older than the last l0 or full backup is redundant and is obsolete which can be deleted if this space is required backup optimization off means that all data files will always be backed up if optimization is on any read only file will be backed up only once because it doesn't change after the backup the important one we need to look at is control file auto backup so we will configure that to be on then there are a few others which relate to how many backup copies which we need to make so by default whenever you run a backup you make one copy of of the file for, for backups similarly one copy of the archive log for backups we can keep the rman output in the data dictionary views for seven days and a snapshot control file is always required because oracle needs a read only copy of the control file when it's running the backup and synchronizing with the catalog database So let me just run one simple backup command. So what I'm saying is I want to compress backup set. By default, basic compression is included in the enterprise edition of the database. So this is basic compression. And I want database plus archive logs also, also to be backed up. So if I try to run a backup, when the database is no archive log mode, it does not allow me to run a backup with the database open. So that is why it is always required that you must switch your database to archive log mode before you take a backup. Before you take an inconsistent backup basically. So in order to switch the database to archive log mode, you need to bring it up in mount state and then switch the database to archive log mode so I do the startup mount alter database archive log and then open the database there are two parameters which are configured for the fast recovery area db recovery file dest which specifies the location which could be a file system location or an asm disk group and the file dest size if the usage of this fast recovery area approaches this size then all backups that are obsolete which are based on this policy retention policy of redundancy one anything older than the last l0 or full backup is obsolete and an obsolete backup is a candidate for automatic purging if the fast recovery area usage approaches this limit my log mode I can take a backup when the database is open so it first backs up any archive log that is present so the first was was an archive log here it take took a backup to this piece handle and you can see that it auto automatically creates database unique name backup set date stamp in the fast recovery area 
after the archive log it started backing up the database files so this will take some time you, you must notice that it, it there is no guarantee that it will back up the files in the same order that they have been created it might back up the files in any order like file number 5 came before file number 5 1 3 4 came in one backup set if the database consists of many more data files split across two more backup sets and it's not guaranteed that the same files will always appear in the same backup set together it just like randomly distributes the, your data files across the backup sets that is going to create once it finishes backing up all of these these are going to one backup set but if, the f if, the, if it is very large it could be multiple backup pieces as well once it finishes the uh, when it finishes the backup piece it sh tells us what backup piece it has created like this one here and how long it took and then at the end remember because I have configured control file auto backup on it will take up auto backup of the control file as well it will also backup any archive logs are generated during this period archive logs generated while the database backup is in progress and the first log after that are always required for recovery of this database backup so the backup database plus archive log will automatically include them in the backups so it takes some time depending on the size of the files and if I configure parallelism it can actually split the backup across multiple channels so if you look at this configuration setting here I could configure parallelism to two or more channels concurrently so the, the data files will be split across multiple channels and they will run concurrently as parallel backups so here we are we're back the all the data files are backed up to one piece this is the piece name you can see the location and the date stamp as a tag how long it took to backup and then it took a control file auto backup it took an archive log backup because one archive log was generated during the backup window and here is the control file backup which includes the sp file you will note that the backup sets are in a folder called backup set but auto backups are in a different folder called auto backup so you can immediately identify that this is a control file auto backup so if I were now to list my backups I can see today's backup consists of four backup sets one is an archive log before the database backup one is the database backup itself one is an archive log after the database backup and one is the control file auto backup I can do a list backup which shows me full details so you can see you can see here backup set number 10 is a control file and SP file backup and it shows me the checkpoint SCN as well similarly backup set number 9 is an archive log backup and that archive log captures transactions from this SCN I mean uh, from this SCN 4417 to 4541 these are the data files included in backup set number 8 and these are the checkpoint SCNs for all the data files and backup number 7 was the archive log at the beginning so these are the four backup sets which were created today 4th April I can also selectively backup files so I can specify a, a single it'll auto, since I have control file auto backup on it will always do a control file auto backup whenever I, I run a backup but this is a data file 9 backup so we have its own piece by the table space level if a table space consists of two or more data files then all the data files in that table space will be backed up so here's my users table space backup which is just one data file I can backup the control file explicitly as well so 
so this is control file backup not a auto backup so the explicit control file backup goes to a backup set directory while the control file goes to an auto backup folder and last i can backup archive logs with the delete input option which means once the backup is done delete the archive logs so here yeah, i specified a backup archive log all delete input it took archive logs 35 36 37 created a backup piece and then it started deleting all those archive logs and as usual a control file auto backup the control file auto backup is very important because this is what retains information about all the backups that have been created till now so if i were to restore this control file backup i have it all i have the information about all these backups that have been taken because they are all captured inside this latest control file auto backup so remember when you want to start rman you do rman target slash this connects as sysdb automatically if you have configured sys backup you can also connect with the sys backup privilege